example of 30 years of healing through horsemanship. That's what Windridge's lasting legacy is in East Texas. It's certainly not your average therapy center in Diana for people with disabilities or mental health needs. The life skills and healing children, adults, and veterans experience atop a horse is profound. Yeah, now the nonprofit is working to build a larger $1.3 million Tyler location on Bascom Road to better serve our community. CBS 19's Dana Huey takes us to Windridge. When you pull up to Windridge Therapeutic Equestrian Center, it's hard not to be drawn to the peaceful surroundings and amazed by these breathtaking horses with a grand purpose. Let's go, Sarah. Oh, drop your left hand. Gate open. Ann Schultz's son, Kurt, started therapy at Windridge 25 years ago as a toddler. He has never been scared of anything, but he was a little bitty thing sitting on top of this huge horse and, you know, it intimidated me, but not him at all. It is totally life changing. It is not horse riding lessons. It is therapy, but it's fun for them and it has just made a world of difference. All right, you look at the goal, see if you can make it in with your right All right, that was pretty easy. How about the left hand? Kurt receives therapy for cerebral palsy. Very good. It's helped him learn to walk with his speech, use his left hand more, and to gain more independence. <laughs> Why we use the horse is his movement mimics the human walk explicitly. So I can put a body that needs some level of activity or form of therapy and have the horse move and we can address balance coordination challenges and make improvements. Don Martin, the executive director at Windridge, says students get 3,000 repetitions of movement just by riding on a horse for 30 minutes, which is unattainable in traditional therapy. In addition to treating various physical challenges, Windridge also helps those with autism, ADHD, victims of abuse, those struggling with substance abuse and other issues. It's also a resource for our veterans. When we have individuals that are with us that have the PTSD, we are able to work towards the relationship between the horse and the person. Regaining trust within humanity, they're regaining trust within themselves. It's not just what they are learning here, it's how do they take what we've learned here out in their daily life, because that's what's important. With this facility in Diana, it can be quite a haul for families living on the opposite side of East Texas. Right now, their facility in Tyler is leased, and they're working to build a new location that's an all-weather facility. John Jones is a volunteer. And once you start volunteering and seeing the good that, that this uh, organization and this type of therapy does, it really catches your heart. Big circles. There, that's good. You can feel the heart of each therapist, volunteer, and horse helping change families' lives beyond their expectations. We had the opportunity to go to other facilities that are closer to our home, and we still choose to come here because then we are family. We've got you covered, East Texas. Dana Huey, CBS 19.